What's up guys, today we're going to go over the problem of building a fence. So, uh, basically you have a backyard and you, you want to see the endpoints and then you want to build a fence, the length L, such that the area enclosed between the wall and the fence is maximized. Okay, the fence could be any arbitrary shape, but it's two endpoints have to touch the wall. So, uh, yeah. So now what you have, you're given is the length of the fence and then basically you want the largest area. All right, so this problem is pretty stupid. Um, basically, if you imagine like a backyard like this, right? This is like your backyard, and you want to build a fence. Um, and imagine if you're this is one of your endpoints, because the, both of the endpoints have to stay on the same wall. The only way you could do this is if you have like a giant semicircle like this, right? Because both of these endpoints have to stay on the same wall. That was from this the, the problem statement. So basically if, because both the endpoints have to stay on this, this wall, so this is your wall, right? Uh, and then you're given the length of the arc, I think. I think that's what you're given, yeah. Yeah, the length of the fence. So that's, that's the arc length, that's this arc length. So in order to solve this problem, you have to do, um, this is what you gotta do. So remember uh, the area of a, the circumference of a circle right, is a uh, diameter times pi. So it's two pi r, right, where two r is the diameter. And uh, basically you have the, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the circumference of this circle and we're gonna divide it by two, right? And the reason why is because this area is actually a semicircle, right? The, this this circumference, this arc length is actually just a the half of a semicircle. So if you're given like, remember this, this is, this is the circumference of two pi r is the circumference of the total circle, right? And now we're, we're only just want this part, this part, this arc, right? Uh, ignore the, the dot, ignore this, right? We just want the half of the circle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the two pi r, which is the diameter or the circumference of the whole, not the diameter, this is two pi r is gonna be the whole circle, right? And we're gonna divide it by two. And this is gonna equal to L, cause that's what we're given, right? So now we're gonna cross out the two so now we're going to have pi r is equal to L. Pi r is going to equal to L. So now uh, if you divide by pi on both sides, you get r is going to equal to L divided by pi. So r is going to equal to L divided by pi. Okay, so now you have L divided by pi, and that's your r. Okay, so now what we, we want is we want to maximize the area. So area is just the area of the whole large area is just gonna be like the pi r square. So now we have this, we're gonna do pi r square now. So we're gonna do, um, yeah, we're gonna do, so So now we have the r radius of r. So now we're gonna do pi uh, radius squared, pi r radius squared, which is gonna be, it's gonna be L over pi. So pi r squared, right? Where r is your r radius and our r radius is L over pi. So we're gonna do pi times L over pi squared. And that's gonna equal to pi L squared over pi squared. So if you divide by pi's on both sides, you get L squared over pi. So I think that's the answer. I believe that's the answer, unless you have to divide by two again. But uh, I'm gonna show you my code now. So I'm gonna go show you guys the code now. All right, so this is the code. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You have to divide by two also. My bad. Because um, you have to divide by two because it's a half of the area, half of the area, right? So we have to do L squared. So we have to do L squared over pi and then divide by this by one half to also divide by two again. My bad guys. I forgot. So, so our answer will be L squared divided by two pi. So that's basically our answer. So our answer is L squared, this is L squared divided by two pi. Okay, so that's our answer. So yeah, um, a tricky part of this part is that uh, you get some weird, uh, you keep getting the answer wrong if you if you round off, round it incorrectly. So yeah, um, here's a code. I do a do while because uh, they wanna end the, they wanna end the input statement if you, ha if you input a zero, so you have to end it. So that's what I do. So you, so I do while t is not equal to zero. I read in t, and then I just check if t is equal to zero, then I break. 
Otherwise, I create this variable called x because, uh, yeah. And what I do is I take 1 divided by 2.0, and this makes it a float. Then multiply by t times t. That's basically t squared. And then I multiply by 1 over pi, which is 3.141596. So that's basically the gist of it. Um, the, the only tricky part about this is that you could get like an overflow error or something like that. Or your, your precision, precision error, not overflow, precision error. So that's why I have made sure pi, my pi goes up to like six decimals, more than six. And I see out and make sure the precision is two. two. So that, that's only two decimal places. I make sure it's fixed so it actually rounds up by two decimal places. And yeah, and I just print out x. So that's basically just the code. Uh, that's basically how you do this problem. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a pretty short video. But uh, yeah, that's it. Peace.